What's going on YouTube? Sentex Collector here with a new series I'm going to call Battle Files, where I'll review the origins of G.I. Joe and Cobra characters. First one to start out with is Kamakura, since I recently just did the G.I. Joe Classified 6 inch, inch figure review for him. We'll just go over the origination of Kamakura, the word itself, which is originally composed of kama, meaning oven, and kura, meaning saddle. From the way that the landscape is viewed from the sea, looks like a saddle inside of an oven. There is a Kamakura period in Japanese history, the period from 1192 to 1333, during which the basis of feudalism was firmly established. There is also Kamakura culture, was highly defined by the rise of the warrior class, which held martial skills and the ideas of duty, loyalty, and bravery in the highest regard. The practice of ritual suicide by disembowelment and the cult of the sword both emerged during this period. And lastly, Kamakura is a seaside Japanese city south of Tokyo, the political center of medieval Japan. And the modern day Kamakura is a prominent resort town. And I go through this just so you can kind of see the origins of the word itself, as we can see with swords and warrior and things of that nature which will make sense later on as we go through Kamakura the G.I. Joe character. So the Marvel origin if we go back to issue 30 back in 1984 of December we see Sean Broca was the son of the original Fred series Crimson Guard in Springfield which Springfield if you all know was a Cobra Maid town Fred was killed in a Cobra operation and replaced with Fred II, who was Wade Collins. Wade Collins served with Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, and Stalker in Vietnam in a LARP command unit. Wade Collins was captured in Vietnam and then ended up coming back home to the U.S. after the war ended. He wandered around the U.S. and ended up in Springfield and joined Cobra. As he felt like nobody else cared about him, politicate politics of Vietnam, etc., etc. So he felt Cobra was a good home for him. Wade became one of the first to join Crimson Guard once it was formed. Hence how he ended up in the Broca family when he took over. The kids knew something was off. Then there was a plot to capture Scarlet that Snake Eyes had stopped. Snake Eyes was able to get Wade Collins to come back to Washington, D.C. with G.I. Joe. Wade left Cobra, taking the family with him, hence adopting Sean as his son, then creating the Sean Collins. Then we see Sean Collins again in issue 155 of A Real American Hero comic book, December 1994. He asked Wade about becoming a soldier or joining the army. Wade's not happy about it, but he advises Sean to write Snake Eyes, and Snake Eyes responds. Then we skip over to the Devil Do run of G.I. Joe, Real American Hero, or as they call it, Volume 2. Kamakura first appears in issue number 1 in 2001 of the Image slash Devil's Do run, reinstated. Because G.I. Joe gets reinstated after Kamakura, well, at that time, Sean Collins does a mission for Silent Master, who's there revealed to be Snake Eyes on the Dreadnought's compound. General Hawk expresses concern over the Green Power Ranger, as he calls this new recruit, but Duke vouches for Sean Collins because they had done other missions together when Duke was doing special ops when G.I. Joe was out of commission. And there's also a four issue miniseries, Master and Apprentice, that's revealed that Sean joined an elite group called the Hammer Team while G.I. Joe was deactivated. During one of the missions, the whole team was killed by Firefly except for Sean. Ophelia, the first new Rashikagi student trained by Snake Eyes, was also killed in this mission. Snake Eyes leaves Scarlet on their wedding day. He goes out to a cabin. So Sean seeks out Snake Eyes so he can be trained and avenge the death of his hammer teammates. 
Wade Collins dies on a mission that Sean takes up the moniker Kamakura after he officially becomes welcome to the Rashikage clan. Kamakura would go from reserve to active duty, back and forth, his status, because Snake Eyes was in and out of the G.I. Joe team. Now we look at the IDW run, which started in 2009, picks up a Real American Hero license, and they start from the original Marvel run, which ended at issue 155, which IDW totally disregards the Devil's Do run, hence Kamakura isn't a thing in IDW. Sean Collins first appears in issue 206. Basically he's a soldier that comes back from Afghanistan. He's staying in front of the old Braca house in Springfield. Basically Scarlet spots him and Snake Eyes is there too and they just use him to try to get into the house because they know Cobra's still up to no good in Springfield. Sean reports back that there is a new Cobra family in the home now and he was hoping to join the Joes he gets reassigned to Texas but then he ends up at Pit 3 and Roblox gives him the code name Throwdown a mission goes awry where Snake Eyes is killed Sean loses his vocal cords General Hawk offers Throwdown to take on Snake Eyes masks so Cobra doesn't know that Snake Eyes is dead and Sean Collins is declared deceased and quote unquote buried in the Arlington Cemetery with full military honors. Kamakura had a few toys. His he was the first action figure from the Devil's Due line in two thousand three. It was a Spy Troops two pack with Night Creeper. He had six figures in the three and three quarter inch line and one in the six inch line as you saw my review of the classified. His first four figures from 2004 to 2005 basically look very similar um, to the Valor vs. Venom line. They just basically repackaged two packs and things of that nature. He had a Rise of Cobra figure in 2009 and then a Retaliation figure in 2012. And then we see Kamakura in various animated series, Valor vs. Venom, which is his first appearance in the animated form. He plays the apprentice for Snake Eyes with Jinx. He was in Ninja Battles. Kamakura assists Snake Eyes to battle Storm Shadow and the Cobra Ninjas. And then he's also in Sigma Six. Again, he plays the apprentice for Snake Eyes with Jinx. So there we have it with the origin and kind of the rundown of Kamakura through Real American Hero with his animated, his toys, and things of that nature. But let's see what you guys feel and if there's more that should be done. JJ out.